it's Penny here and today I wanted to do my September wish list. So this is a regular series I do on my channel where I talk about the books that are coming out in the next month that I'm interested in as well as some older books that I've recently added to my Goodreads to read list. So firstly let's start with the September releases. On the 1st of September we've got The Tea Dragon Tapestry by Katie O'Neill coming out. So this is the third Tea Dragon book. This is a children's book series all about these people that own these tea dragons which grow like tea leaves on them and people use them to make tea. Primarily these are just really short and beautiful stories. The art is just lovely. I will admit that I didn't enjoy the second book as much as the first one but I still just like looking at the pictures so I will probably pick this third one up from the library. Then on the 8th of September we've got The Invention of Sound by Chuck Palahniuk. So this book is about a man who has never stopped searching for his missing daughter as well as a woman who does sound effects for Hollywood films and they're getting involved in some kind of violent mystery in the underworld of Hollywood. I'll admit that I first looked at this just because Chuck Palahniuk is a well-known author and I thought the title sounded interesting. I did do some sound engineering stuff when I was younger but then when I was reading the reviews for it everyone seemed to say that this is his best work yet so I thought maybe this would be a good place to start. Then on the 15th of September we have To Sleep in a Sea of Stars by Christopher Paolini. So Christopher Paolini was the author of the Aragon books. I think I didn't finish that series because I got really bored. However, when Christopher Paolini wrote that, he was very young. Now he is a grown-up uh, and he's trying his hand at science fiction and I just thought it would be interesting to see whether I enjoy his new work. Um, I think it's about humanity discovering some alien artifact and then it leads to war. Early reviews do seem to have been quite good as well, although I might wait for a few more before I really dig into it. Also on the 15th of September we have The Scapegraces by Hannah Abigail Clark. So I've talked about this one before in saying that I just picked it because it has a really beautiful cover. Also it seems to have some teenage lesbian witchery which just sounds kind of fun so why not. Then on the 29th of September we have The Midnight Library by Matt Haig. So this is a story about a girl who I think there's like a library of all the possible lives she could have and she can just jump from book to book and choose which ones she wants to live in. I have read some Matt Haig books before and they've been quite funny. I'm not really sure if this one's supposed to be funny or not but I do think that Matt Haig is just really good at getting to like the core of what humanity is and so I expect to quite enjoy this one. Then also coming out on the 29th of September is A Deadly Education by Naomi Novik. So this is some kind of dark academia book where this girl gets into a magic school but then she starts learning dark magic. I'll admit this is another one where I just really like the cover so I really want to like the book but I do also like the concept and Naomi Novik is quite a popular author so that's a good sign as well. So now let's talk about some of the books that I've recently added to my Goodreads to read list. Firstly we've got the Psychology of Time Travel by Kate Mascarenhas. So this one is one that I heard about from Emma from Drinking By My Shelf and it's about these four women who invent time travel but then one of them does something that puts the whole project in jeopardy and so they kind of write her contribution out of history. The rest of the synopsis gets quite convoluted um, as time travel books tend to do but I really love time travel books and Emma really enjoyed this one so I'm gonna pick it up. Then I also put Our Prisons Obsolete by Angela Wyatt Davis on my list. This is just a book about if we were gonna abolish prisons what might that look like. Now I do support the idea of getting rid of prisons and perhaps abolishing police but I'm also on the side where I don't really understand how that would work and so I wanted to read a book that would perhaps help me understand it a bit more. Then I added Seven Devils by Laura Lamb and Elizabeth May and I admit this is another one where I saw it on Twitter and I just really liked the cover. I know I shouldn't put books on my list just because I like the cover but I keep doing it. This does look to be like 
some kind of feminist space opera. There is a girl who is the heir to this evil empire, but she's faked her death so that she doesn't have to have anything to do with it. But then she ends up getting involved with the resistance and getting pulled back into everything. It did put me in mind of Princess Leia from Star Wars, who I 100% wanted to be when I was a tiny little girl, so perhaps I will like reading this book. Then I also added The Quiet at the End of the World by Lauren James. So this is a book where humanity has stopped being fertile and so people have been getting older and older and we're following the last two teenagers as everybody else is dying off and they have to work out what they want to do next. I really liked The Loneliest Girl in the Universe by Lauren James and this one again has a really beautiful cover but also it sounds like a really interesting idea and Justine from I Should Read That really enjoyed it. Then I added onto my list The Subtweet by Vivek Shreya. I think this one is about this famous musician and then her song is covered by an internet famous musician and that song kind of goes viral and initially their friends because of it but then as the newer musician becomes more popular the other one becomes quite jealous and with one tweet everything kind of turns into a mess. So this is one that Ellie from Hardback Quarter was saying it's just a really good look at how we use social media and the troubles that that can cause and I do think that's something I would like to think more about. So even though this is a contemporary which isn't normally something that I would gravitate towards. Um, I thought the topic still sounded really interesting and so I thought I might pick it up. Then I added If Cats Disappeared from the World by Genki Kawamura. So you guys know I can't resist books that have cats on the cover but also Kit Kat Kim Reed was talking about this one and it sounds like it's very similar to The Memory Police which I think I talked about in my video like this last month except in this case a man who's been only given a few more months to live makes a Deal with the devil to be able to continue to live as long as every day he picks one thing to be removed from the world. So then every day he's picking what thing is going to be removed from the world. And of course balancing that up against whether the world losing that is worth to him, him getting another day of life. It sounds like a really interesting idea and so I'm super excited to read it. Although really, what would the world be without cats? nothing. I'm sure that's what cats would say. And then I also added Finna by Nino Cipri. So this one is a science fiction where an elderly customer accidentally falls into a different dimension in this furniture store and so the two staff members have to go after her. Uh, unfortunately they also both just broke up with each other and so it's a strange experience. I believe things get very multi-dimensional which I really love. Also Style of Reads recommended this and I think I trust her science fiction recommendations. Oh I also added this one and I thought I'd mention it because it was a big surprise even though it's not going to be released until next year and that is The Box in the Woods by Maureen Johnson. This is going to be the fourth book in the Truly Devious series. So until recently the Truly Devious series had wrapped up with three books. Now they're adding a fourth book that doesn't always work out for the best when they do that but I did enjoy the Truly Devious series so I'm really hopeful that this fourth book will be a worthwhile addition to the series. I imagine that Stevie, the main character from the first series, will always be investigating different mysteries so this series could go on for quite a while. Basically in the first three books we had this girl named Stevie who went to this very private academy. She wanted to train to become a detective and her first mystery that she wanted to solve was this murder that had happened at this elite school 50 years prior to when she went there. Uh, she does solve it in the first three books and I really like the way it was done. So fingers crossed for this fourth book. Oh and another sequel that I was surprised by is Ready Player 2 by Ernest Cline. So this will be the sequel to Ready Player 1. I don't think that a sequel was on the cards when the first book came out but now we're getting a second book. I have no idea about what it will really be about. The first book was all about this virtual game and this competition to try and inherit that game after the creator died but everything seemed pretty wrapped up in the first book so who knows? And that is all the books on my list. Let me know if you know of any September releases that you think I am missing out on because I don't like missing out even though to be honest I probably won't get to some of these books for a little while because I just have too many books to read and too many things to do. But I do like keeping a record so that I can come back to this later. And as well if you think that any of the books I've talked about today are actually not worth reading let me know that as well so that I can delete them from my list. Otherwise thank you so 
so much for watching. I hope that you are doing well and I will see you next time.